Hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon and today we're playing more Resident Evil. Made contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. There's more than we can. Watch out. Whoa. Oh, there's damage. It's a little bit inaccurate. But it does damage. could buy this weapon with Ethan from the start of the game. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Would have been so simple and easy. BSAA craft spot. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. I guess. Get cock. Oof. Well, that's uh Oh that's Louise's house. Okay, okay, I see. I can't open the toilet. Chris doesn't care <laughs> about toilets. Only Ethan. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. It's all 30 FPS. Let's go. Like it's obviously at a half refresh rate or something. It's kinda weird, but whatever. I imagine if that was uh, full frame rate, the game would be tanking here very hard. Large mutated bioweapon sight. in there, but I can't go. Hey boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. I mean, Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. Okay, so that's where all this comes from. Tundra is placing them. Oh, that was cool. That's very clean, like, I don't think there's any night vision technology that looks like this. Eh, maybe there is nowadays, but... That's very clean. Too clean. It feels like you're cleaning house with Chris. Damn it, this is. I've never heard of it until I see Colony being so huge. You're like setting arrows with my head. I'm trying to use a handgun a bit just to save some ammo, I guess. See what kind of damage this does. Pretty good. If you manage to hit anything, which I don't. Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong weapon. Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of uh, ammo, we don't need to. He's just sitting there. Oh, 
Okay, you know what? I need to um, change the shortcut a bit because this is very confusing. Yes, this is better. Okay. That actually. Come on. Can I have some cover and fire, please? Team. You got eyes on me. Shoot. Also hesitating for some reason. Come on. Now this is a realistic silencer, right? Silencers in video games make the weapons um, completely silent, but there's no silencer that does that. They kind of muffle the sound, but it's still very loud. It's a shot. It's a shot. I mean, still there's a lot of noise. All right, Lobo, marking the target. Roger that, boss. Uh, wait, I'm not marking anything yet. I'll just run in here. Grab this. Yes, yes, yes. Is there anything else? No more mold. This is closed, obviously. Just point me where you need the big guns. Yes, yes. Just let me look around first. Why can I come in here but not? I'm all set here. Show me where to shoot. <sighs> Uh, I don't know. Captain, can you give me a target here? Yes, I am. Like, ah, I have to press. Right. Alright. Reloading now. Just a minute. This is smooth. Hit it. But you can still take a punch. Yes, Captain, the Mega Mice is underground. I'm on my way. Give me a second. Ah, okay. I think I did it the hard way. Is 
Yes, and I could have run in there, back into the house, come out the front, right? Didn't think of all that. I just thought, fight, fight, fight. I found a way down. I'm going in, the rest of you stay back. <clears throat> Captain, I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. So Evelyn was created from whatever's here, right? Maybe Evelyn was Miranda's daughter? No, Evelyn was given that form, right? We specifically read that Evelyn was given that form, so she's more inconspicuous. I don't like this. What's that? What's that? Too late. Lobo, I got a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Okay, I'm moving out. Hold on till we get there. Uh. I don't think Susan makes any difference, right? I don't think so. Probably just wait for my ammo. Oh. Does something. Seems to make him lazy. Oh, come on. I thought I could trade him. Yeah, that definitely makes him lazy. Got him. I'll keep going. The rest of you, stay above ground. Uh, sorry for the pause there, guys. I had a... So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Mm. Focus on the plan. If they didn't know... I mean, it seems that by the, the way they... The things they say, it seems like it wasn't planned. Uh, Rose wasn't bait. As I said earlier. Maybe Chris is it's hiding stuff mice. from his team. Alpha the squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. <sighs> and two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. 
I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should yes. have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. He did say the Even plan. So, you should have told him. What was the plan? Yeah. Was the plan conceived after they were? Looks like a baby, right? Was the plan conceived after they were captured or before? Does half the team know what's going on and it's what I'm saying or? We don't know. This must be Miranda's lab. Uh, the exposition part. Just like in Resident Evil 7. A lab before the end. <laughs> so many things to read. Okay, that's Moreau. Subject name Salvatore Moreau. Cadu affinity low. Brain function surprisingly low. The Kadu has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish like grills and a swim bladder. Another subject with regular cell division, causing him to transform into giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects and unfit vessel for Eva. Oh, so she was looking for vessels for her daughter? Eva? Evelyn? Oh, uh, come on. This is not a, a coincidence. Alcina Dimitrescu, Kadu affinity, most favorable. Brain function is normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grow his nails into claws in mere moments. A rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Oh. So wait, she became tall after changing? She seemed quite tall before. Note, due to hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably, an unfit vessel for Eva. Heisenberg. Carl Heisenberg, a do affinity incredibly favorable. Brain function is normal. Has electric organs similar to the electric ray Narke Japonica. Japonica? These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system, can therefore pass and control electricity throughout, throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Eva. Yeah, I think he's, he got the best of it, like no transformations, just superpowers. He could leave this village at any moment and become a superhero. Or a villain. Donna Bereviento, Cadu affinity favorable, brain function is normal although severe mental illness. Physically she is no different from a regular human, however, she can secrete a signal producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamycid. When humans absorb the pollen, yes, from a particular flower she can cause them to have hallucinations, however she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her Cadu among her dolls in order to control them from a distance, an unfit vessel for Eva also. Another could do. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Yeah. Oh, come on, there's so much stuff to read here. Uh, that's human. I'm fairly certain. And that's, I think, Miranda with her baby. Which looks like Evelyn. Hmm. And I think that's actual Evelyn. From the experiments. Again, Miranda with some people. Someone else. Dear Miranda. My deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would have loved n I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. 
I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism, positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge, I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hope to bring back a single dead person while I aim to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought the virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. For reminiscing, I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution, the progenitor, a virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus research. I will call it Umbrella, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much and for that I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswald E. Spencer. Spencer, here. No way. Yeah, 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 that made sense. This is where it all started, right? Long, long ago, in a galaxy far, far away. And that's Eevee. This is uh, literally a picture of Eevee. We saw this in Resident Evil 7, this exact picture. So either this is... No, her daughter was a baby, right? She never grew up to be this old. So this is Eevee. My Eva, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. What? Oh, I was so powerless back then. But now, now I can bring you back to life from the Mega Mycid. I had to test her new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her with the Mega Mycid regulator, the giant chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Mega Mycid. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into the cave to die. So I wanted to be with you. I so wanted to be with you again. And that's when I found it, the Mega Mycid, completely by accident. When I touch the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Mega Mycid breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Mega Mycid. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite called Kadu. Yet, none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA, but all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I have waited too long to see you again. So the organization she's talking about is the Connections. It gives me connections. An uh, organization we've never heard before in the series. It's the organization Mia was working for. We read their name on another document a while back, but not much uh, other info. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that Barry? To the this guy? To the left? That looks like Barry. Hmm. Again. Miranda with her baby. This is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? 
in the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. Didn't care about what? So you tell me. Where is my husband? Did Mia Where know? Is my daughter? That they were bait? Gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. I'm thinking more and more that my theory is correct. I'm thinking Mia knew. After all. And that's why she was worried. At the start of the game, uh, we dead. had a flashback. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Maybe he does? So Ethan is coming back without a heart. You can imagine that. Going on? <laughs> so it's there. It's cold. How did I get here? Shit. My body. Yeah, it's missing a heart. <laughs> I guess that makes a difference. You're so dumb. Is this even real? What is here? You're dead. <laughs> dead? Uh, I mean, Miranda. She. Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Uh. Wrong! <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? I can still. See, Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt. Remember. That's impossible. No way. <laughs> you shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, <laughs> you! What, what am I? A memory? What are you? I, I, I did all that. <laughs> Rose, Existing through the yeah. sheer power of will? I... Nah.
is mold. Now do you get it? Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. Family. Family. No. no. Rose. I have to save my daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> If I've been dead for three years, might as well last a little bit longer, right? Here we are. See, on the floor. At last, he awakes. The owl. The old seeing owl. My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Um the house banner. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Yeah, take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. I'll make it. Yes. Foolish Alarjen, defend the good. Speaking of foolish questions, who what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Okay, so the saying on the carpet means I, I yeah. thought it would be something I have to be. more deep. <coughs> but it means money defends the rights they or the go. law. It's French. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it again. I already killed it once. But it means money defends the law or something. Or your rights. Is there any reason to look around? I don't think so. I can't even run. Lots of ammo. Okay, let me see. Um, Duke's Emporium has everything you need for your decisive battle. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, is there anything to sell? There is. Ooh, 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 that's a lot of money. Cigar only costs 3,000. Ah, maybe it's a Cuban. Oh, oh, the assemblage of life and machine. For a sugar, for a cigar. essence through it. That's a lot of money. Um, okay, how much ammo do I have for this now? Please, be well. No, 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 wait. I'm not leaving yet. I'm not leaving yet. I've got six ammo for it. Yeah, yeah, might as well. Might as well upgrade it, right? 100,000, huh? Yeah. Oh, 130. I don't have 130. If I sell everything I've got, trade lockpicks I don't need. Everything I've got that I don't need anyway. The flashbangs, like. Yeah, I can get to 130, can't I? No, I don't think I can. I'd have to sell a weapon. Or this. 
which we never found the Seek 12, whatever this is. Yeah, okay. As I'll always a trustworthy fair exchange. And do more of this. Now this does 2.9 thousand damage. And we got six bullets. That's like 1800. Uh, yeah, 18,000 damage. And can I do anything else with the time I got left? No. So I'll just... Wait, let's buy this first. Thank you for your purchase. And then start with a better ammo. Go down the rest. Yeah, that's fine. What is this SIG 12? I don't get it. Duke's Emporium is thankful for your business to the last. Okay. Um Yeah, let's just look at this here, I don't think we need the knife anymore. But let's not keep this in our hands. Might shoot it by accident. Out of my way. His aim is a bit off, but it's because he's hurt, don't worry. It's not because I'm a bad player right now. There. Uh, little Ava, my beautiful daughter, come to me. Eva, is that you? Nope. Oh, that's wrong. How I've missed you. Look again. Is it Rose? Are they the same? Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Give Rose to me. No! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything. Get her now! Yours. 
Oh, amor, vamos. Fireball, please. Oh, what? I tried the block, but I was too late. I think I can take one more hit, right? <laughs> I think I attacked it. Or was it? Okay. I'll have to kill. What is that? No, no, no. No, no, no. Wait, what? How do you avoid that? Uh. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you let things in my house. Rest now. The hell I will! I will take back my daughter! <laughs> die, 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 die! If I combine both with the Mega Mice, my daughter will be made manifest at last! Every century, a century, all for this day! Killing item. That's the last one. I can take any four lines. But not your daughter. <laughs> I have killed you, so why do you need your daughter is very clear. Yeah, let's make How about this? Your time is up! Now die! Uh, what's that? You right. How am I supposed to? Avoid all these attacks, right? Cease. Can obviously block them, but for the most part. Okay, are there killing items anywhere around Ever here? Think the problem might be you, Miranda? No. You're not capable of real love. I will not have him or anyone else to be broken or my dog. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't die now, Ethan. No! Truly a wonderful fight. Till now, of course. Uh, I'm sorry, boys, I failed you. Two deaths. Okay. If it was the first death, I would be so sad, but since we've died once already. Meh, whatever. Yeah, we'll try to use more of the sniper ammo. They do a lot more damage. Skip this. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Jones. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamites. Now, please do not worry, the little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with true So 
Okay, yeah, this does a lot more damage than the shotgun, from what I can tell. <laughs> now, Mr. Rangers, I think it's time you left him. The hell I will! Okay, this is... Die, 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 die! So the shotgun will be better. If I combine Rose with a metal for that part. Oh, we're supposed to hide behind this, okay. Okay. I don't need to reload all the time, why am I doing this? I can definitely put here enough to stop us that. Yeah, see? We we'll stopped the attack. I don't know, why won't you? Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up. Chris. Ethan. You did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. I'm in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? 
Alive. Oh, Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> Yourself. Oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. Goodbye, Rosemary. That's actually the end of Ethan Windows. I don't Go. see how he survives that. Go, take us up now. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. He didn't, don't worry. Tell me what's going on. Where? What's an abandonment? Escape. I'm sorry. Captain, you need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. What the hell were they thinking? A zombie. Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSA at Europe HQ. Oh, can't wait for the next one. Someone's gotta pay. Oh yeah, Chris will make everyone pay. That was it. We made it to the end. The end of Ethan Winters' story. But only Ethan, not the Winters in general. So, the game has some plot holes, but come on, it's Resident Evil. Nobody expects flawless. Story. I mean, so far it's been it's been so long, right? Can you imagine if the story could be consistent over 20 years span? The first time I played Resident Evil, I was like 11, 12 years old, not even younger, when it first released on the PlayStation One. At least that's where I played it first. So yeah, there's some plot holes, they're trying to combine 
this with the rest of the storyline so far and it's very loose and I'm guessing that's so they buy time to make proper connections besides Spencer starting from here getting his ideas about uh, human evolution here the game itself has some plot holes like some things don't make sense why wouldn't Chris explain from the start unless my theory is correct it's the only thing I can think of right there is no clue in it in the game or there is very few clues about it in the game but what else can it mean uh, how w why would Chris not tell Ethan uh, what's happening why would they bring them here when he knows what is here If the theory is correct, then okay, it makes sense, but if not, then there are some plot holes. But who cares, it's a fun game, it was very fun to play, I'm sure it was very fun to watch, uh, except for the fact that I'm new to this and probably the sound sucks, and you have to just live with it, I'll get better over time. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled, so more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Like, that's pretty touching, right? Thank you for joining me guys, I had fun playing, I hope you also had fun watching. It's a nice song. I'll just let it play, but you can go if you want, I don't think there's anything else, I don't have anything else to say, I'll just let the song play and then I'll finish the episode. Again, thank you for joining me, bye bye.
I'm still here, I'm paying attention to the pictures and it seems like there's a different story being told where the mother dies I've never noticed this before, I must have skipped it the first time I finished the game Whose story is this? Do we know of any sad stories in the Resident Evil universe? Mother dying, girl being saved by a cult or something? A dude with a plague mask? I get vaccinated or something? Oh, wait, that must be the village, right? Yeah, it's the village. But... Who's the mother that died? And the daughter that saved? Is it just a random villager? Telling us how they fell victim to... The cult of Miranda? I'm guessing so. That's probably it. Right, just a random story of a villager which shows you how any villager would fall victim to a miracle worker yeah and the father would become a lycan I bet and the daughter would be what Alcina? oh or Donna Claudia died right her mother Yeah, the father became a lagon. From the vaccination. Low affinity to the Kadu. White hair. Who has white hair in this game? Nobody does. The little girl had white hair, I think. Oh, wait. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. Rose Pine, Santa Monica? <laughs> That's the only Santa I know. <laughs> Besides Santa Claus, and I don't think the bus is going to Santa Claus, right? coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Leave her alone, will you? Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. Just got here. I love you. <laughs> yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. We have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I 
can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. <laughs> clear clear shot? What the hell? She's just a kid. <sighs> Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. Feisty. I know. There was a lot. Of, there was a lot of speculation about this scene. There is somebody walking in the distance. You can clearly see them. And people thought that, yeah, they see the car is breaking. People thought that meant that that was Ethan. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case, uh, considering the... The DLC, right? Okay, this was a long episode, but I mean, there was no other way to do it. It took us a while. Uh, I can't keep it playing. What? This is the first time I finished the game on standard difficulty. That might be it. Can I save? Wait. I'll save below the other completed data, right? Okay, so now actually, bye bye. <laughs>